oh, Title IX was originally just a piece of legislation that um, mandated that female sports teams were funded to the same degree that male sports teams were funded in the American universities. But it's been expanded out so that if there's any differences in any areas whatsoever between the genders, then the universities are being taken to court. And like 200 of them, I mean, last I looked, about 200 of them were up, and, and they can have their funding revoked if they violate the Title IX provisions. So it's become like a vicious weapon for social justice warrior equality of outcome types. And so, so it's not just about f sports. No, it's got way, way beyond that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's become an equality of outcome issue fundamentally. There was an article that I sent you. Um, one of them was uh, from, I think... Uh, I got, I think I got it off of dig.com, but it was um, Jordan Peterson is having his moment and we should ignore him. Mm -hmm. and I, I send this to you and there was one a part probably, of it. <laughs> the last part of that might be true. But. <laughs> <laughs> um, but one of the things in the article was citing this study that showed very little difference oh, yeah. between men and women. Oh, yeah, I read that damn study. Yeah. Oh, God, it's a pathetic study. Yeah, well, I, I the, sent the, it to you because I was like, this, this is not right. Well, the thing is, like most things... It's complicated. Yes. You know, so are men and women more similar or more different? Well, it depends on how you define the terms first. But they're more similar. Well, why? Well, they're the same species. So we could start with that. Like, but the question is, what are the differences and how do they manifest themselves? And are those manifestations important? So here's an example. If you took uh, a random woman out of the population and a random man, and you had to bet on who was more temperamentally aggressive. If you bet on the man, you'd be right 60% of the time. But you'd be wrong 40% of the time. And that, that's not a walloping difference, right? 60-40. It's not 90-10. Like, so there's, quite, there's a lot of overlap between men and women in terms of their levels of aggression. And you think, well, they're more the same. Yeah, except. So then let's say, no, no, let's play a slightly different game. Let's pick the one in a hundred most aggressive person from the random population. Well, they're all men. And that's why all the people in prison are men. So even though on average, most, men and women, most, well, yeah, right. it's 90, yeah. 90, 90 to 95 right. percent, right? So, and often if the women are in prison, it's because they got tangled up with a really bad guy, you know? So, so one of the problems is, is that differences at the extreme are where the differences really start to manifest themselves. And so you can have a small difference at the level of the average, but out at the extremes, it starts to make a massive difference. So let's say to be a Google engineer, which is hard, right? Because you not only have to be an engineer, but you have to be a very good engineer. Say, well, you have to be interested in things rather than people. 